I mean, the three pillars of cancer therapy up until two years ago, I would say, were slash burn and poison, you know, surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. But with immunotherapy, since your T cells can pretty specifically uh, recognize the tumors, they're, they're relatively few side effects. Immunotherapy is basically getting your immune system to treat cancer. The promise of immunotherapy is it can be curative. We could cure almost every kind of cancer. I'm Jim Allison. I'm a member and chair of the Department of Immunology and executive director of the Immunotherapy Platform at the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. And uh, um, the winner of the 2018 Nobel Prize for Physiology of Medicine. What I've been trying to do for the last uh, 30 years, basically, is really understand how T cells work. T cells go all over your body and look for things that are wrong and, and fix them. When I started working on this, nobody knew how they, how they recognize that, how they know what's right, what's wrong. He was understanding it's really uh, complex process. People say we learn to harness the immune system. That's not quite correct. We learned how to unleash the immune system to do what it was doing anyway, but just do it better. I grew up in Alice, Texas. My father was a country doctor. Country, I mean, he you know, made house calls. He was the first immunologist I knew, I think, although he didn't really know what immunology was because when I was a kid and he was going to a family, the kid had measles or mumps or that stuff. He would take me with him and make me sit with the kid for a while, make sure that I got the disease as well, you know, because he was aware that, you know, if you get those diseases as an adult, they can be devastating. There wasn't a lot of science in Alice. Back in the, I got in a lot of trouble the, my senior year because I refused to take biology because they didn't allow teaching of evolution. They allowed me to take uh, biology from the University of Texas by correspondence instead. I was just hooked. I wanted to do research. I never uh, really considered myself doing immunotherapy. I was just trying to understand T cells. And when I felt I really understood something, then I would try to use that to treat cancer. All you have to be is right once in a while. And if it's something important, that's good enough. If you're right all the time as a scientist, it means you're working on something boring and obvious. You should strive to have the world be a better place, you know, for your having been there. And I, I just thought through science and hard work, I might be able to do that. PCF's been a long time investor, I guess you should say, in our work and uh, contributed a lot to our success. They really helped um, get some early clinical studies done, which were successful. I, I think that uh, the Prostate Cancer Foundation is a worthy uh, cause for several reasons. One is, of course, the funding of research. It's better now than it used to be, largely because PCF is just elevating the science. Now.